Here we are pad, this is my radius in and ball cutting tool. Um, pretty straightforward. A square base which has got a circular recess machined into it. This piece sits in the recess and is held in place with a countersunk headed screw and allows it to rotate. This is the tool carrier which is just a piece of scrap steel. Uh, I drilled a hole through it at centre height and inserted a drill tip or a, a piece of broken drill which I've ground to make a cutting tool. If it's placed in in that orientation it will cut a small radius. If it's placed in in that orientation and the tip turn round it will cut a ball which I think is quite useful. I use it to turn the ball on the end of this. Um, I'm going to turn a small radius into it as well now. Right, I've mounted the, the cutting tip the way I want it and positioned it roughly where I need it to work. Make sure there's nothing going to catch on the chuck. See, I'm being safety conscious. Thank you, peas and gravy. Bing bong. Right, advance the tool till it touches. The workpiece isn't central, but that doesn't really matter. There's a little bit of slop in this piece, which is not a problem as long as you're aware it's there. Once contact's been made, it's just a matter of rotating backwards and forwards and then slowly advancing. I only go five thou at a time. This is just a piece of uh, aluminium that I've used as a handle. Yesterday I cut stainless with it, I was quite surprised how well it cut the stainless. The depth of the cut is set by the amount that you move the saddle forward of course, but the actual radius is determined by the distance that you set the carrier in. If this piece is set forward, it will make a much greater radius, if it's set back, much smaller radius. I don't think I want to go much past where I am now, so... Got a little bit rough there. It's still quite new, so it's, it's actually still bedding in. There's probably loads of swarf underneath it. And I squirted a little bit of WD-40 on, which is not really a good idea, because there's very little lubricant in WD-40. I'll take it apart and oil it later on. Two or three passes at the same setting. Oh, that's not too bad. Um, anyway, that's not actually not too bad at all. That a little bit of smoothing off with some emery paper, and uh, the jobs are good. Un. It took me a couple hours to make it. I saw the plans on the internet. I didn't even bother copying the plans because there were no dimensions to the plans, just a drawing. Um, and that basically is it. There you go, Ped. Get on and make one, mate.